Hey, Trail Kreitzer at Go Hunt. Uh, today I have an awesome opportunity. We're up here at a BHA event in Missoula. We decided to buzz down to Bozeman, check out the new Sitka headquarters. Uh, I got John Barklow with me, which is, is an awesome opportunity to sit down with you. We spent about an hour just shooting this here and uh, super cool opportunity, but we wanted to have him run through uh, some of the new equipment from Sitka this year. Uh, you know, kind of the big announcement, so to speak, is the uh, Kelvin Aerolite sleeping bag. Um, that we'll be launching here in about 10 days. Nice. Yeah. What degree range do you give it? I mean, that's always the first question, weight and range. Yep, so weight and range. Um, so uh, 28 degrees, mm -hmm. two pounds, six ounces. Okay. Um, but it's, it's it, as, as you talked about details, it, it's far more than that. And uh, so it, if you'll forgive me, but three years ago, I started this project, um, if you can believe that. It's a project that, I had built while I was in the military very specifically for some end use applications, but essentially it was bringing functionality mm -hmm. to a sleeping bag. So mm -hmm. if you think about it, we carry a sleeping bag in our pack, we get in our tent, we get in the sleeping bag, we sleep in it, we get out, we put it back in our pack. Mm -hmm. um, so you have that insulation at your disposal, but it's not really in a functional package. You can't use it really unless you're kind of hanging out, like I said, in the tent. So by bringing functionality to it, uh, we've been able to design a bag where you can sit there and you know hang around camp, uh, eat your chow, uh, do camp chores, glass, uh, filter water, um, sleep in it, right? All these things. Mm -hmm. And so now I've, I've basically what I've done is I've taken my sleeping bag and I've built an extension to my clothing system. So okay. the way I like to call it is I've taken. Uh, and I've, t I've turned uh, gear into clothing, right. not clothing yeah, into the gear, gear, right? You're in reverse. Um, yeah, so w when you look at the bag, what you'll see is there's a center front zip. Mm -hmm. It goes just to the, to the very top of the toe box. Um, the structure of the mummy hood is more like a large uh, belay parka hood, yep. so it's a little more functional. It's got draw cords. The bag is shaped where it has a little more shoulder structure to it, more like a, a puffy jacket. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's got zippered armholes. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to, you know, wake up in the morning, unzip the armholes, mm -hmm. pop my arms out, sit up, brew my coffee, look at my map, think about what I'm going to do for the day and not just immediately dump Jump all that up. heat. Right. Uh, if I'm going to say get up after I make my coffee and go sit on my glassing knob, um, I can pop my feet out the bottom from okay. the, from, by unzipping it from the bottom, I can pop my feet out. I can take a small hook, I can clip the bottom of the bag so it makes it half as long. Mm -hmm. And I can get up and I can walk with my coffee to my glassy knob, still in that bag, still utilizing the warmth properties of that bag and mm -hmm. sit there in glass till the sun comes up and then I can eventually take it off. Right. And then I could repeat that process in the evening. So that bag is working for me far more hours during the day than if I were to just, you know, take Use either a, a quilt or, or just a sleeping bag. So, um, cool. kind of a unique, kind of a yeah. unique take on on a bag, um, and that's really where the insulation started. Is I thought this would be the the perfect insulation package for that bag, and the farther down the road we got, then we just realized, hey, you know, well, if it's great in a sleeping bag, it might be great in these jackets. So we've chosen different weights. Mm -hmm. Etc. for the different applications, um, but but the, the bag is kind of like the first one to launch and, and it's, you know, it's unique, it's differentiated, right. uh, people are at least going to, you know, it's good, they're going to make, it's going to make them pause a little bit and, sure. I, and I hope it makes them think yeah. that, you know, a sleeping bag and your clothing can be one because you're really going to build it with the same performance metrics. Right. I want it to be light, I want it to be compressible, I want it to dry, I want it to keep me warm. Yeah. So that's that's what your puffy jacket is, that's what your sleeping bag is. That high country mule deer Brady that you love, you know, and you're climbing up and you're 12,000 feet in September and you're sleeping at elevation, you climb out of your, your tent, you're 100 yards from your glassing point, you just keep your bag on. Yeah, because I don't know about you, but like the worst part of any hunt or yeah. actually any day of my life is waking up in the morning. And, <laughs> right. You know, when you're climbing out of a tent and it's cold yeah. and like it's the last thing you want to do and you're like, sure. oh, do I want to get out of my bag? And uh, you know we were ski touring with it this uh, this winter. It was it was like 15 degrees, I think, where we were. You know, and and the bag 
we can go into that at some other point, but you know, the, so I was totally warm, slept in some clothes, but I just unzipped my armholes, sat up, popped my arms out, made my coffee for me and me and my buddy, you know, talked about what we were gonna do, looked at the weather on, on the on our phones, you know, and then you know eventually got up after you kind of got your kind of worked into your day. Bit. Exactly. Yeah. So it's kind of nice Very to cool. do that. Yeah. So same aerogel in the bag is in the jacket? Yep, just different weights. Okay. Um, okay. There's uh, there's three different weights in the bag. There's one weight in, in the uh, in the jacket. Okay. Yep. And you said potentially more coming, huh? Yeah. So there's going to be uh, there's going to be three additional uh, systems that are going to launch this year that I'm not sure I can give away <laughs> yet. Okay. Um, but but it'll be updates to insulation packages, and, and those will launch uh, kind of a little later nice. later in the year. Very yeah. good. So when are they available? June. Uh, June fourteenth, I believe, is when the bag launches, and then probably around uh, July fourteenth, fifteenth okay. is when the jacket launches. Cool. Both of them on order. I know we should have shipments receiving. Yeah. Uh, Go on gear shop. Should be able to get yours. We appreciate you taking a few minutes, and uh, you're gonna do some other videos with us here in a sec. But yeah. Yeah. Thanks for uh, giving us a run yeah, through. Yeah. Thanks the new for stuff. coming by. Yeah.